been a minute. I have Scarlett over here watching Cocomelon, having a snack, trying to keep her distracted. It is not like the old days where I can just do things and leave her be. She is definitely like very aware of me giving her my attention. So if I am on the phone with someone or trying to sit down and film, like she's extra needy of my attention. She likes her mama's full attention. I vlog. Hi vlog. I vlog. Say I missed you. I love you. Hi YouTube. I teach you. <laughs> I teach you. Hi YouTube. What's your name? Shia. No, it's Scarlett. Shia. How old are you? Shia. <laughs> it's Scarlett. Shia. <laughs> Shia. Okay, mommy's gonna talk to the camera, okay? She's gonna tell the camera what we've been up to for the last two months. So, anyway, I know it's been a really long time since I've been on YouTube. I honestly don't even remember the last time I filmed anything. I obviously filmed my miscarriage journey and that whole experience kind of threw me for a loop because of course like no one ever expects or plans to be in that situation um as you guys know if you watch those videos it was a complete surprise pregnancy to begin with so let's just say i'm glad that that chapter is behind me i'm totally like fine i'm thankful for the experience um having gone through it now i feel like i can relate to probably a lot more women out there and um i don't take anything for granted i don't take getting pregnant easily for granted i don't take my healthy baby back there for granted like i realize how precious and fragile like creating human life is not to get all like sappy on you guys but it really is a miracle so Anyway, enough about that. We are putting that behind me. I am totally here if anybody ever wants to talk about it, if anyone feels alone um, through sharing my miscarriage story. I connected with so many people and it was just really refreshing to talk to other women and just hear about their stories. My story was nothing compared to what a lot of other people had gone through. And so if you guys ever need a friend, I'm your girl, DM me, text me, call me, whatever. Um, but now moving forward, we have a lot of life updates to talk about here. Okay, so it is currently August. Um, our plan was to start trying for another baby in June. So we went to Cabo, I think it was the end of May. I had just gone through the miscarriage, I think like a week prior to that. And um, our goal ultimately was to start trying in June. Um, Scarlett was 18 months in June. I just felt like I needed a couple trips to just fully like embrace not being pregnant because as a lot of you guys know, my pregnancies are hell. Like it's so rough and so for me, like to mentally shift into that gear, I have to feel like, okay, I'm ready to take this on. And I had kind of like in my head given myself like one last hurrah and that was going to Mexico. And so long story short, like we were initially planning on starting to try after we got back from that trip. But because I had the miscarriage, I didn't get my period back until um, I think like the end of June maybe. And so last month, July, was our first month of trying. And long story short, we didn't get pregnant. Um, and that's okay. I know that it's not normal to get pregnant on your first try, or at least not like the average. It was just a little bit hard for me because with Scarlett, I did get pregnant right away as soon as we started trying. And then with this last pregnancy, I mean, we were not, we were trying not to get pregnant and I got pregnant. So in my head, I think I just assumed, I guess, which never assume, um, that it would just happen right away. And it didn't happen the first try, which is totally normal. Um, so it's now August. We are going to be trying this month. 
and then we'll see what happens. At this point, it's kind of out of our control. Like I would hope that I would get pregnant at some point this year in 2021. I mean, what year are we in anymore? I don't even know. In 2021, but at the end of the day, like I've humbled myself and learned that I do not have control over these things. So yes, we are trying for another baby. As of recently, um, I get asked, <laughs> I feel like on a daily, if we're trying or if I'm pregnant. Fingers crossed it happens. I feel a little bit more pressure this time around because Scarlett is gonna be two this year and I did want them like closer to two years than three years apart, but like I said, whatever's meant to be for us will be. That's getting the baby talk out of the way. I know a lot of people wanna know those kinds of questions, which is totally fair. Now I have an even bigger announcement than that, which is actually really, really crazy because I don't know, life is just moving really, really fast and a lot of things are happening, which is really exciting, but it's also like, holy shit. Like life just goes by really fast. So we moved into this rental house. We are very fortunate to be here and I actually love this rental for a rental. Um, we were deciding between a couple houses and actually chose this one because initially we thought that we may be here for up to two, even like at the craziest three years. We thought we'd be here longer, but the announcement is we bought a house. So we are currently in escrow right now. We had a 45 day escrow, which is a little bit longer than I guess the norm for right now. Most escrows are like super quick because the market is insane. But we have been in escrow for like a month now, which is crazy. Um, Jason's super superstitious. So he's like, you can't talk about it. Like you can tell your friends, but you can't like talk about it on social media. He knows of course, like I'd wanna tell people on Instagram or YouTube. Um, but yes, we bought a house. We close, I think like a little less than two weeks now. So we're almost there. We've removed all contingencies. We are pretty much like locked into this house. Anything could happen. So I probably won't post this until we've like officially closed in two weeks, but yeah, we are almost there. Um, it's kind of like, doesn't feel real yet because so the neighborhood that we bought the house in, We've been looking in that neighborhood for years now and we've made, I can't even tell you. Hi. What are you doing? Are you watching Coco Melon and having your snack? I love this tummy so much. I'm gonna be so sad when she loses her little pot belly because it's like my favorite thing. I like grab it all day long. Oh, do you not want me to do that? No, her big thing lately is to say, no mama, no. She just wants my full attention, so she wants me to like play with her right now. But you know what? Mommy is doing something else right now. Up, up. You want me to go play? Okay. Yeah, I know, but I'm doing YouTube right now. Anyway, what was I even saying? Something about the house, I'm sure. Um, oh, so yeah, we've made so many offers on houses in the neighborhood that we ended up buying in and everything like i'm not even kidding you guys it would go on the market and it'd have multiple multiple offers like we're talking like five to ten offers the first week sell for way over asking like prices that already it's overpriced i'm not gonna lie in that neighborhood but like prices where you'd be like oh my god i can't believe somebody in their right mind would pay that and i just felt like we felt like it just wasn't worth it for us to like way overpay to be in there. Like we're totally content in this rental. Scarlett's only one, like we don't need to settle down in the neighborhood that we're gonna raise our kids in like for school and stuff like that. So we were like, you know what? When it's meant to be for us, it will be. And I totally believe in that statement. I'm not religious. I've shared this with you guys before, but I do believe in things just like having a weird way of working itself out. And maybe we just like make that up in our mind but I don't know, I never like stress too much over situations because I always feel like, okay, if it's not this, it's gonna be that. And if it, we're not doing this at this time, like we'll do it at this time and it will all kind of make sense in the end. So we had that mentality with buying houses in there, like all the offers we made, we were like, if we get the house, great. If we don't get the house, like there'll be others. And looking back, like it's pretty crazy because the house that we're in escrow on is like, 
10 times better than everything else we made offers at in that neighborhood and it just feels like it was all meant to be because so we were looking we've been in this rental i think for like three months now so we moved in into may so june yeah like a little less than three months and i think it's just good to pay attention to the market and to just see what out see what's out there because you never know but we weren't necessarily anticipating buying a house this year jason's brother actually sent us listing of the house well there was no listing but the house was off market we want a big family we want at least three kids maybe even four we'll see how crazy we decide to get um but we wanted like I just picture a house that like my kids can run around in the yard. They can be outside all day. Like we live in LA. I just want them to be outside. I don't want them to like basically what my kids doing now, like sit inside and watch TV all day. We went and looked at it and we were like hundred percent. Yes. We wrote an offer that night and then we opened escrow and this whole time Jason and I are like, wait, is this really happening? Like, how is this so easy? Because we've just gone through this process so many times before and it's always a headache selling our last house. Like we were in, in escrow, it fell out of escrow. We had multiple offers, people back, like it, it just, Buying and selling homes, real estate is a shady industry. I'm sorry, like it just is, which I get why it is, but like still, it's just not fun to deal with. So we were like, just, I guess, pleasantly surprised at how easy this process was, which made it just feel more like it was meant to be. I love LA, like love, love, love. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea for me. I love it, but I've also kind of always teetered on the idea of moving somewhere and having like a little bit more of a suburban lifestyle. And I feel like this is kind of like the perfect happy medium where we're still in LA and like can do all the things in LA that we want to, but we're like, we're able to have like a bigger yard, a bigger house, like run errands easier, like just everything. So, oh, uh, not to mention the neighborhood that we bought in or buying, we don't close for two more weeks, but when this video goes up, we will have closed. Um, all the houses are horse property. So our house has a barn, it has an area for animals. You can just ride your horse around the neighborhood. It's so cool, it's very private, which for kids, like that just gives me so much peace of mind that my kids could just ride their bikes around and I don't have to worry as much. Okay, I'm gonna try to finish up my house update pretty quickly here because Scarlett really wants my attention. So I'm now sitting with her on the couch, um, letting her finish her show. And then I am gonna take her to run a couple errands and we're gonna grab some lunch. So the house is a huge fixer upper. It needs everything. So we will be doing, I can't really call it gutting because we're keeping a lot of like the walls in place in terms of the layout of the house. We are knocking down the kitchen, dining room, living room walls to make it a little bit more open. But for the most part, like we're redoing everything, new floors, new lighting, new kitchen, new bathrooms. We are doing an addition. So we are adding on a master suite in the back of the house. Right now the master's upstairs, but it's a little bit small and there's no master closet. So we're gonna put the master downstairs and we're gonna be doing like a full addition there. And then, um, the backyard so right now there's a massive olympic sized tennis court in the backyard we are gonna demo that whole tennis court the current pool is a little bit small and it's off to the side of the yard so we're gonna move the pool um center it in the backyard we're gonna build a pool house we're gonna do a new lawn um we're gonna be doing a lot of things so i am gonna take you guys along this journey with me. I am so excited. I have been scouring the internet for like home renovation remodel content because I am taking on this task of doing it myself. And of course we're hiring a contractor. I will not be doing physical labor. And we do have to hire an architect this time around to do like the plans for the house. And the remodel and all of that because we have to submit permits to the city to be able to do all of this. But in terms of like the design work and stuff, that's all gonna be me. And in terms of sourcing, that's all gonna be me. So I'm sure I will be crying to you guys many times. Um, I have done this before with our last house, but that was less than half the size. And 
Um, it just wasn't as big as the project as this is. So it's gonna be a lot, but I feel excited about it. I think it's gonna be so rewarding when it's done. It's a lot different to look on Pinterest and be like, oh my God, I love that, love that, love that. And then to actually like put it all together, to source it all, to find the people that can do all of those custom things in a home, like that's the hard part. So I will be, um, I basically feel like I'm starting a new job. I've spent, I don't know, I wanna say like four to five hours every day throughout the day after Scarlett goes to sleep when she's napping, working on house stuff, um, trying to source like finding, getting quotes for windows, cabinetry, uh, just everything. So it's gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be really fun too. I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can. Um, I don't know what like my journey on YouTube's gonna be like, but I might as well just take it day by day. So that is the big update. Um, we are super excited. When this video goes live, we will have closed escrow. So stay tuned for a little house tour. I still have to show this rental, by the way. It's super cute, like I was saying, but I also will film like a before remodel of the new house. And then of course, like I'll, document our journey throughout the construction process so that's all thanks for watching make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already and i'll talk to you soon bye youtube i had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those